In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the disappearance of Terrence Woods Jr. She vanished just blocks from her dorm room. And is she a white, black, Asian, Hispanic? She's a um, young black girl, she's probably in her 20s. Okay, so before I start talking, I'm just going to say one thing. I've missed this space. Um, I know that you don't formally know me. I don't feel as though you know me very well, which is okay because I'm going to take a little bit of time in this video to reintroduce myself and talk to all the new people that are on this channel now, all the new followers and subscribers of the Lettuce Babe content. So I started Lettuce Babe back in... October, September of 2017 and initially it was something that I wanted to grow into being a all black powered brand, um, sell products and potentially do like meetups and greets and things like that. But I also run quite a few other businesses and a personal brand outside of Lettuce Babe. So essentially it was just a lot to manage every single thing and help it to grow and flourish like it deserved. So I took a break from Lettuce Babe as a brand and it is my own brand so it's not like it's affecting too many other people apart from those of you who just really like the content. That's kind of the worst part of it and taking a break but um, I have decided to come back for the sole purpose of doing this YouTube channel and for posting this style of content and any other black related news just because I love talking about this kind of stuff and I tend to kind of shy away from it just because it can be very daunting to talk about things that have such truth and facts uh, related to them. I so badly don't ever want it to sound like I'm not taking this content seriously. Sorry. I don't know what that was. Um, I so badly don't ever want it to seem like I'm not taking this content seriously or like the subjects or the people or the happenings or the events, anything that can be as a, as a piece of news in these videos, I don't want it to be taken lightly and I don't want it to appear that I'm taking it lightly, if that makes any sense. So when I think about all the research I do for these videos, it's like, oh man, it's like I put a lot of pressure on myself because I want to get it right and I want it to be accurate and I want it to be very, very put together, if that makes any sense. So. My name is Natori. I am a chef, I am a content creator, a photographer, and a singer. I do a lot of different things. Um, if you want to follow me, my Instagram is HeyNatori. I'll have it on the screen for you guys. And without further ado, let's just get into today's video. So when I first came across Terrence's story, I was hesitant to cover it because it was so fresh, it was so new. Um, there weren't very many updates. I think. When I found out about his case, it was maybe like October 18th, October 20th, something like that. Um, and he had been missing since October 5th. So there wasn't any updates, uh, good or bad, which I know that's kind of like a double-edged sword. I suppose no updates is a good thing in a way, but it's also um, cause for concern because that, that can mean no positive updates either. So, um, I have my notes, so if you hear me flipping through paper down here, that's what you're hearing. I always take notes about everything that I'm reading or researching or uh, relaying to you guys so that I can be as accurate as possible. Um, and then I don't like to get anything wrong because I'm just a perfectionist in that way. So, um, Terrence Woods Jr. went missing October 5th of 2018. He is now 27. He went missing at 26, but he's had a birthday since then. And he went missing while filming a documentary in Idaho. So um, one thing that stuck out to me the most is that his dad has been very, very vocal throughout the entirety of this case and uh, for the last six months relentlessly, which is really good because it's allowed people to know the concern and the fact that a lot of times your family knows you better than anybody. Your family knows how you feel about something, they know what you're going through in a lot of regards, and I know for a fact that if anything were to happen to me, my mom would be the loudest, my family would be the loudest, and they would know what was going on with me. So um, I'm going to read a few 
uh, details from the case and then we'll move on to his father's statements. After the disappearance of Terrence, uh, they sent some rescuers out to look for him and to my knowledge, witnesses, meaning the people in the film crew that he was filming the documentary with, they said that Terrence jumped off of a steep cliff and then ran into the woods. And I say that very skeptically because I feel like if I was hanging out with 11 people, even if they were strangers to me, I cannot imagine none of them running after me or none of them coming back for me or anything like that. And of course, a lot of times the media doesn't get a lot of information from the police department because it's meant to protect um, any kind of sensitive information, any sensitive details that if the public knew about, then people would come forward and say that they knew something about it, but it would be kind of like a waste of time. So I don't know if there's things that I don't know and I'm not aware of because it's not being released to us as a public, but from what it sounds like, that's insane to me. It's insane to me that 11 people are standing around while this guy just runs off. And then, and then I'm going to get into my thoughts on that as well in terms of theories a little bit later. So... Um, they sent out some rescuers to look for Terrence because I think there was like a body of water and it was freezing cold water so they had some people look in the water but they didn't find any sign of him, no traces of him, which is going to be brought up a lot throughout this storyline. In terms of um, Terrence's background and who he is and what he's been into all this time, Terrence Woods Jr., uh, he grew up in Capitol Heights, Maryland and he attended Maryland University and graduated from there in 2013, which is coincidental because I graduated from high school in 2013, if you guys want me to expose my age. He's very much so into film, and from what I've read, this is not his first time filming in a remote area, meaning this is not his first time filming in a not well-traveled area or out of the country he's even filmed. He has been filming for years, and he's been doing documentaries and like speaking pieces and he uploads his videos to Vimeo and it seems as though his entire film crew was a London based film crew and I have some ideas about wondering if that caused any animosity or if they were all in good standing with each other or if that had anything to do with his disappearance but I wonder that a lot when I read through these details. He's also done some work with The Voice and I believe this documentary was like a really exciting piece of work for him, although I couldn't find any information about what the subject of it was. So like I said before, witnesses said that Terrence jumped off of a steep cliff and then ran into the woods, but his family's not buying that. His dad specifically is not buying that. Um, he also went on to share with us his and Terrence's last conversations together. At 8.34, his son texted him back and said, Dad, I'm coming home on Wednesday the 10th. Um, between that little time, something went wrong. Then the next call I get is from the company saying my son disappeared and they can't find a trace of him. So between the 5th when he went missing and the 10th, something happened. Actually, more than likely, it didn't say that the last time that he talked to his son was on the 5th, it just said beforehand. So I imagine that his son reached out to him perhaps before the 5th, and it was maybe like 5 or 6 days between the time that he reached out and the time that he was set to come home, and something happened within those course of days. So I just feel like so confused by this storyline and this timeline, because I feel like what? What do you mean disappeared? What do you what like what do you mean? Like I I don't know. Every time I read this I think what do you mean? Terrence was filming the documentary in the Or Grande Nez Perce National Forest of Idaho. Now I don't know about you, but I have never even heard of that part of Idaho. I did not even know that part of Idaho existed. Um, like I said before, he was filming with the London production company uh, Raw TV. So I went on to find their statement in terms of what they think happened or any kind of comment they might have to make about the situation. They said, we can confirm that Terrence Woods, a member of one of our production teams, 
went missing on Friday, October 5th in Oro Grande, Nez Perce National Forest, Idaho. The Idaho County Sheriff's Office was immediately informed and they implemented a search and rescue operation. Mr. Woods is a well-liked valued member of the production team and we have been working closely with the Sheriff's Office which has been leading the search. Mr. Woods' family are in direct contact with the Sheriff's Office. All inquiries regarding the um, So honestly, in my opinion, I feel like that's the most plain cut and dry statement you can ever make about someone that you worked with closely or that worked under you in this type of situation. I've worked in jobs where I have the impression that you'd be more concerned about me. That it wouldn't sound so corporate, that it wouldn't sound tight, but that it would sound genuine. And I feel as though this didn't sound genuine to me. In terms of my theories, I'm kind of in the same boat as his dad. I don't believe that Terrence is still in the woods. I don't believe that he was set out to harm himself. Um, my first inclination, apart from those theories, is that someone in this group has something to do with it. And they either have yet to say anything or we have yet to find out that they did say something about it or they did come forward or they have made any kind of like indication that they know something more. Um, I just don't believe that Terrence just vanished into thin air. I don't believe that. And at the very least, if they had something to do with it and say Terrence was um, upset or he was afraid or he was trying to get away for any reason or maybe they were out there doing something that they shouldn't have been doing and Terrence found out and he made a beeline for it out of there. If that's the case, then that makes sense as to why they wouldn't go after him in terms of like saving him or helping him. If that's not the case, and there's also a possibility like Terrence's dad was saying that maybe someone picked him up in those woods. Maybe he did kind of like go off by himself or maybe he got lost or anything like that could have happened and someone with the worst ill intentions could have picked him up um, with the impression of helping him and then drove him off somewhere or killed him or anything like that could have happened and I don't want to speak any of that into existence but it's definitely a likely scenario so those are all my thoughts on this situation I don't want to call it a storyline because it's not make-believe but this is like all I have on the disappearance of Terrence Woods Jr. and I really, really hope that something comes of light very soon because we all know that the longer someone is missing, um, the more likely they will stay missing. And I just don't want that to be the scenario. Um, also, if you want to help me out with being more consistent on this channel and talking about more black matters and more black missing people of color, which is the same thing. But okay, talking about more missing people of color in general, um, then please comment down below some cases you want me to cover or some things you want me to do the research on, like the legwork, and I will. Um, or if you have any other black related matters you want my opinion on or you want me to do a video on, please let me know because I'd be really interested to do that for you guys. Um, hello to all of the new people on this channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for sharing these videos and bringing light to them because that's honestly the core of all of this. It's just feeling as though we're not talked about enough. And even on YouTube, amongst the people who do these videos, we're still not talked about enough. And this is just what we need right now. And I'm very, very grateful to be doing this. So I will talk to you very soon. If you want to follow me personally and keep up and communicate with me about these videos or these cases, you can follow me at Hainatori. Um, that's H-E-Y-N-A-T-O-R-I. I'll have that on the screen and underneath as well. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace.